4D Crying Earth Eye Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a design that I am so excited to show you because it is one of the coolest things I've ever made. And I know I say that a lot and I know that I'm really excited about a lot of the things that I make, but this one is something special because it has a crying, it's a crying eye. There's tears that come out of a little tear duct. I just, I'm so excited. Uh, so the way that you do this is there's a little pipette underneath the nail that is like the little bladder. So it's very similar to, you know those Halloween masks that I know are really popular when I was in fourth grade that, or second grade, I don't know, was really popular when I was, when I was in elementary school, that they had like a little pump thing and you squeezed it inside the pocket and then blood came down the white mask and then it went back into the little bladder. Very similar idea except for that it doesn't recycle back into the pipette. But you have the little pipette filled with your little tear mixture underneath and you squeeze it and then it comes up and out and down the nail. It is, I just, I'm so excited to show you guys this. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. If you're looking at these pipettes and you're thinking, oh, those are really cool, where'd you get those? Um, I bought, I couldn't find them in a small amount. I had to buy, I think it was like 500 of them, which is insane because who on earth needs 500 pipettes. So I figured I would maybe help you guys out. If you guys are interested in getting some of these, I do have them in smaller, smaller amounts on my online store, just because I know that we don't all need 500 pipettes sitting around in our nail stuff. We got enough nail stuff hanging around that we can handle a smaller number. So if you guys are looking for them, I will put a link to my online store in the description box below. So check that out and don't forget to click subscribe. See all my future videos as well. So to begin with, this part I actually later deemed unnecessary, but I will show it to you anyway just because um, it is included in the video and I just don't think you really need to do it. But I started out by gluing a hair elastic onto the nail just right along pretty close to the tip of it. Just I thought that would help hold the little pipette in place. Later I decided that the pipette was fully glued in and it really didn't need to be there. But um, you know, you can go ahead and keep it there anyways. So start out and just create an overlay across the entire nail with a cover pink. And as you can see, make sure your brush starts out clean because otherwise you're going to get purple in there and you don't want any purple. That was, yeah, you can tell that I was working on multiple things at one time and clearly I was using purple as well. But for this one, just start out with cover pink across the entire nail. This is going to just kind of create that smooth background. Now, I, whenever I do something that's like an eye or anything. I always kind of do it to make, uh, to match myself. So normally this was my other eye tutorial. I was a green eye like mine, but you can definitely switch this up and change the skin tone however you like. Since this is um, an earth eye, it could even be like a green. I mean, you can really just, you can do whatever you'd like. Play around with it. Have fun. And then encase the entire nail with a layer of clear acrylic over the top of the entire Thing. Just in case that, just like so. And then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file. When you are doing this, I'm just going to give you the instructions to be careful with the hair elastic, just in case, you know, you may find that it did help you. So you may want to include one of those anyway, but um, just make sure that you don't file through your hair elastic and break it, which would really be unfortunate because then it wouldn't hold anything in place. So now on a nail form backing with white acrylic, you are going to want to sculpt out the shape of your eye. So it's pretty, pretty basic. You do want to make it um, I wanted my eye to be pretty, pretty wide compared to the nail. So I'm, that's why I didn't sculpt it just on the nail. I sculpted it separately and then I glued it on. It's just, it's a very basic, almost football type shape. So after you have that or a petal shape, then after it's started to set, but not a hundred percent. So when the acrylic turns matte is usually when I say to pick it up. So then you can just slide your brush underneath it, pick it up and set it on the nail. The reason you want to not let it get completely set is because it'll conform to the shape of the nail a little bit and it'll have a slight curve on it, which will just make it look a little bit more realistic. And so then I'm going to be painting all the details on my eye with some acrylic paint. So I started out by doing just kind of a light wash of gray around the perimeter of the white just to give it a little shadow. And now I'm going to be adding a blue circle, a pretty large blue circle in the very center of my eye for the iris, for the start of my earth iris. So just it, the first blue that I used was kind of a, I don't know, a sky blue. And then I'm going to be taking more of a true blue and going around that and kind of creating the shadow. Even though this is uh, an earth, I do want it to still have that kind of eye appearance, you know, very um, iris look. So they have usually the iris is the lightest around the pupil and then it gets darker around the edges. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing this. So that's why I added the darker blue around the outside just to kind of give it that dimension. 
Then you're going to need to add the continents with two shades of green. Same thing, I started out with the brighter shade and I'm just going to be painting them the way that I painted them. You can switch this up however you like. I wanted it to be ocean behind the where the pupil will be. So I painted the continents so that I've got um, North and South America kind of to one side. So they, and then we've got the, we've got a little bit a little bit of Europe and then some Africa on the other side. Do look at a picture of the earth when you're doing this and then after you have your continents in place go ahead and add your pupil. This is so small that they really don't have to be exactly perfect but you want them to be pretty good. You want them to have at least an idea that they do look like continents. And then with a little bit of diluted black paint just kind of add a little shadow around the top of the of the iris just to kind of continue that shadowed appearance like the light gray that's on the white. And then in case this eyeball with a little a th pretty thin layer of clear builder gel, this first layer is just to kind of get that in place. After that is cured, you're going to want to apply a second layer of clear builder gel. This is the one where you're really going to be building up the shape and the curvature of the eye. So after you have it in place, I really don't use builder gel very often so I feel always feel really awkward whenever I'm using gel but it is the best thing for making these eyeballs flip it upside down and you can even tap it a couple times before you cure it so just let it sit there upside down it'll pretty much give you that curvature that you need on its own apply gel sealer over the eye cure that again and then going back to acrylic which is really my my cup of tea I like acrylic acrylic I, I don't know everyone has a preference between acrylic and uh hard gels and I just I really work better with acrylic uh you're going to want to add the eyelids now this entire nail could definitely be done ooh, definitely be done with gel instead of acrylic my other eye video that I have is 100% gel and I will put a link to that in the description box below that one is not crying that one is just a plain eyeball and I really do love the way that it turned out even though it is all gel and I feel like I said very um, out of my comfort zone like a fish out of water when I'm using gel a lot but I do like the way that one turned out so if you are somebody that uses gel more so than acrylic you can go and check that out and see how I did that instead there's uh, the steps are pretty similar but there are some things I did differently so if you are interested I will put a link to that one so I'm going to be just kind of blending in the eyelids trying to make it look like there's a little bit of a crease there with the acrylic and just kind of blending that up and out you will have a little bit of a gap underneath the corners of the eye, but that's okay. And then with some brown paint, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of shadowing just kind of around the skin some. And I feel like my cover pink was a little bit too pink. So not quite that, I don't know, it didn't look, I don't know, looked pinkish, looked, I don't know, blushed. And I didn't want it to be so pink. So that brown is going to kind of tone that down some. And I'm also going to be adding some brown and some white um, just around the the lash the upper lash line I wanted to add some brown and then right along the lower water line I just added a little highlight of white and then a little highlight of white right in the center of the upper eyelid just to kind of brighten it up you know kind of go back and forth between colors and you can keep painting there's so much dimension that can be added to skin tone that if you wanted to you could really just keep working on this for a very very long time and just keep going at it after you have all your painting done go through and you're going to need to add a hole right in the center underneath your eye make sure that you do not get your your eye scratched with your e-file when you're doing this use a pretty small bit to start with but eventually you do need to make it a pretty big hole as you can see so have a pipette close by that you can keep testing it to see if it's the right size once your pipette fits into your hole go ahead and uh, fit in how big you think it needs to be and then cut off any extra glue your pipette in place so as you can see i cut it at an angle so it sort of fit in there at an angle so it's not just straight down but it kind of fits underneath the nail a little bit so it kind of angles down I just thought that fit better with the way, you know, you'd squeeze it and stuff. So I just kind of angled it. Hold it there until it is completely attached and glued. Um, it takes a little bit for it to glue. You might have to hold it there for a second. Then take and secure the hole. Fill in the extra gaps around the hole with some more of the cover pink. And you're also going to want to shrink the hole. You don't want it as big as that pipette opening is. So you want to just kind of work the acrylic in there just to make it smaller. Then grab a false eyelash. And I just get these at the dollar store. I do not uh, go and get really nice, expensive false eyelashes. I get the cheap ones whenever I'm working on a project like this. And then trim off. So fit them on the nail and then trim off the extra. The great thing about false eyelashes is that they have that little um, liquid latex on them. So they're a little bit sticky to start with, which means that you can pretty much fit them onto the nail and they'll stay and they'll hold their shape while you are grabbing whatever you're going to use to more permanently attach them so you can play around with it before 
before it's done. That little part that you trimmed off, you also wanna keep because that's what you're going to use to make your lower lash line. So I'm just holding it with a pair of pliers. You can hold it with the tweezers or whatever, and then cut off the little thread backing. And then you've got all these individual little hairs. Attach those individual little hairs with some more of that clear builder gel. Again, I don't really use builder gel very often, but this is a circumstance where it, it really is the best thing to use. So then pick them up with the tweezers individually and place them down into that builder gel going along the lower lash line. This is definitely a tedious process. Uh, make sure that you have a TV show that you like or a movie or some music or good conversation or something going on. If you are like me, placing these individual eyelashes, it's mind numbing. It drives me crazy. It's like, oh, this is just taking forever. I get kind of, I don't know, antsy during this sort of process. So it always helps me out if I've got a little bit of something else going on at the same time. Completely optional though. Anyways, just place all your eyelashes. Once you are happy with the way that they look, you can, con since you are using Builder Gel, you can continue to arrange them and play with them as long as you'd like. And you can pull them off if you want and put them back on and change the order that they're in. You can do whatever you'd like, but then cure it in place. After those are cured, I'm going to take some more clear Builder Gel and just line the top, la the top, the top lashes with that because it was just being held on with the liquid latex and that's not quite enough and then apply a layer of matte gel top coat over the entire nail and over all of that clear gel just to make sure that it's not going to stay sticky then to make my little my little tears I mix some hand sanitizer and water you can just use water that's perfectly fine but I wanted it to be a little bit thicker but not quite as thick as just hand sanitizer so I mixed it up and it worked really 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 well so just mix up your little your little tear mixture and then I used another pipette to suck it up and then you can stick since the pipettes have a smaller opening at the tip and I since I cut them off that's why it didn't mine is so open um, but you can still stick that in there otherwise you can use a little syringe that they make for nail art that would work as well but you're going to want to fill in the pipette that is in the nail after that is done you are all set with this you can always refill your pipette this nail is so shocking i showed a lot of people when I, that came to the house i was like hey, hey look at this look what i just did because i was I, i'm just so happy with the way this turned out it was one of those middle of the night crazy ideas that I have that I wasn't really sure if it was actually possible. So I hope you guys like it and love it as much as I do. Please share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!